Welcome everyone to another edition of The Score. Wiley Baker with you here. As a reminder, The Score is a sports show here on AACPS-TV and the Anne Arundel County YouTube channel where our Athletes in Action show focuses on a specific team at an Anne Arundel County public school. The Score zeroes in on an essential individual in the life of Anne Arundel County Public Schools Athletics. And today we have one such individual for sure. I would like to introduce the brand new athletic director in Wildcat Country in Gambrels, Maryland. Welcome to Ryan Woods. Ryan, welcome. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm excited to be here and represent Arundel Wildcats. So. Well, we've known each other for a while. Uh, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. I know you are a local student athlete here in Anne Arundel County. Absolutely, I uh, grew up in Anne Arundel County. I went to Glen Burnie High School where I got to play football um, for uh, legendary coach, Coach Riggett, um, and then Brad Wilson afterwards. Went off to school in Delaware and played uh, Division Three college football at Wesley College, uh, go Wesley. And, um, you know, it's which is a nice place because I have uh, a couple um, of the alumni on staff at uh, at at Arundel now. So um, I got through Wesley, came back, and started teaching at my alma mater at Glen Burnie High School. I uh, spent 14 years there as an English teacher, as the academic advisor, the assistant AD, a football coach and uh, also the sports bowling commissioner for the, the county. And this is my first year as the new AD in Wildcat country. So I'm very excited to be there. Talk about the excitement about being a student athlete at Glen Burnie High School and then coming back to the Gophers and actually being able to give back. Well, um, I will say I would not have gone to college uh, without athletics. I really do believe that. I think that it opened up some doors for me. I didn't really know what I wanted to do as a senior in high school. So when I play, was playing football, I got some offers. Uh, Ten different schools offered me um, a chance to come and, and play football. And that's what I just wanted to do. I just wanted to play football. When I got there, uh, I, I fell in love with Wesley. It was a great campus, small community. Um, my high school was bigger than uh, Wesley at the time, so you know it was it was, it was a place where everyone kind of knew each other. Um, I, I think coming back to Glen Burnie really opened up some doors for me, uh, and I really wanted to give back through athletics. So got back in as a coach, um, coached with uh, Lenny Thomas for four years, Nick Goodmalloy for uh, two years um, before he moved back to Annapolis, and then uh, spent a couple years with Coach Woodson uh, later on down the road. So. Um, I got the opportunity to be the assistant athletic director under Bruce Sider, and uh, Bruce really helped develop me in, in the administration aspect. So I, I think it's really important for students to get involved in athletics or um, honestly just anywhere in the school. It really builds a sense of community. Um, uh, my goal at Arundel is really to just build the whole student, not just part of it. Now Ryan, were you a teacher also at Glen Burnie High School? Yes. Uh, I taught. Oh, everything in English that you can name. Um, it's it's kind of funny. Miss Davenport, when I interviewed at uh, Rundle, says, wait, you're not a phys ed teacher. What am I going to do with you? Um, so I, I taught English 9, English 10, English 11. Uh, I taught the American Film Studies curriculum, wow. which I got to actually write uh, the last couple summers uh, through curriculum writing. Um, I've done literature magazine. I've pretty much done everything except yearbo yearbook in 12th grade. So Wow. Um, I've got a wealth of knowledge. My, my biggest thing is that I am a core content teacher at heart, so I really emphasize the student instead of the student athlete. Um, it's, it's a big part of, of that student athlete. Again, here with Ryan Woods. He is the new athletic director at Arundel High School. And uh, Ryan, when did you first kind of have that thought and that desire that I want to be an athletic director? So about seven years ago, Bruce Sider, um, was in a bind. Uh, Doug Schreiber, who had spent years at Glen Burnie High School as the softball coach, um, he moved on and he became an administrator. Uh, he just transferred over to the, um, actually, the Annapolis uh, area. Okay. So he's, he's over there. So he left some big shoes as the assistant AD and Bruce put out the, the call and I answered it. Um, didn't really know what I was gonna do the first year and Bruce really helped me to 
um, really understand a lot about the administration aspect. Um, I still got to coach football, so that was awesome. And I was doing a lot of the security work at that point. So the safety and security is a big issue for me. I really want to make sure that all participants in the game, but also the spectators are, are feeling safe at the event. Um, so Bruce really developed uh, my uh, love for the administration side. I, I got into it, loved it. Bruce actually went out um, mid-year, my second year, and I got to fill in for him. Um, that was the year where I spent the years teaching five English classes. Um, I was the acting AD with no assistant AD, the academic advisor. Um, I wasn't coaching football, but I was a sports bowling commissioner. So I had a lot of hats there, and so I have a, a whole wealth of knowledge with that, and I think it really helps me as, as the new AD over at Arundel because now I know all the working parts. And you have to feel good as the assistant athletic director at Glen Burnie at your alma mater. You and the athletic director, Kyle Hines, did a lot of rebuilding there, so you're leaving that school in very good hands. Yeah, I had the, uh, the chance to leave um, Glen Burnie a couple different times. Uh, one of the first times was when Nick Malloy um, transferred back to Annapolis. He, you know, I, I was his JV head coach and he really wanted me to come with him. Um, and we had a really great bond and I just told him at that time I, I just wasn't ready to leave. I, I, it was my alma mater. He was going back to his alma mater. So it was, it was a good fit for both of us to stay where we were, to, for him to leave and for me to stay. I just wasn't ready. Uh, this year, I felt like I was leaving the place in a better spot than when I found it, and I, I think it was it was my time to leave. I think Kyle's done a great job over there. Um, looks can can be reality uh, in a way, so he's really improved a lot of the campus. He's really working on a lot of different things. Um, Glen Burnie has just got a brand new uh, second gym floor. They've got a new. Mm -hmm. Um, sound system in their stadium, a new scrolling marquee. He's done a lot of work there. Um, we They just got the brand new bleachers and the new press box there that they're going to be able to open up this football season and they're they're ready to roll. So I, I'm excited for Glen Burnie, but I'm also very, very blessed and excited to, to be stepping in at Arundel. Kevin Necessary set me up in a great spot. Uh, it's a beautiful campus. It's a beautiful facility. Miss Davenport has um, kind of let me go and say, hey, this is your world now, let's do this. So she really puts a lot of trust in me, which which I'm excited to be. Well, before we dig into the green, white, and black, uh, I know something special happened to Glen Burnie. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that. Uh, your life changed at Glen Burnie High School, not only as a, as a grad there, yeah. but uh, you uh, have found your wife there. Yes, uh, so my wife, Jessica, and I are both alumni of Glen Burnie. Um, we both taught there, we both coached there. Um, she was involved in theater arts and soccer and all different things. Um, Just like you. <laughs> exactly, we, we put on a lot of hats there. So in um, 2017, we actually got engaged at a faculty, the first faculty meeting of the year. Um, and in, on April 18th, 2009, 10 years ago, um, we actually were married inside of the walls of Glen Burnie High School. So we, uh, we, we thought of it as our place. So we wanted to have it there and invite all our friends and, and share that moment inside the walls. So Well, congratulations. Thank for you. That is, I know, very, very special. So let's talk about the Wildcats. Why Arundel? What made you decide that Arundel was the right spot for Ryan Woods? Well, um, no disrespect to any other school in the county, but I will say that in my opinion, and I said this in my interview, and it's not a lie, it's, it's flat out just my opinion. Um, I've always looked up to Arundel. Uh, I've always kind of been jealous of Arundel. Uh, they have it all. Uh, they have the support from the, the, the parents. They have the feeder systems. Uh, they have the facilities. Um, they have the winning sports. It's really a great facility. Um, I am big on tradition and history. Uh, my biggest thing with this is the fact that Arundel is it's a total school. There's a great band. They're out there mm -hmm. every day practicing. They've got great theater arts. Uh, one of my first things that my wife said was, oh, do you know how great that theater arts program is over there? Um, so I'm excited to, to be part of the entire school. I will say Arundel is, in my opinion, the crown jewel of Anne Arundel County, and uh, mm -hmm. I really do believe that. Um, I'm huge on history. We're, we're going to honor the past while working in the present and we're going to move toward that future. 
Again, here with Ryan Woods, the new athletic director of the Arundel Wildcats, Arundel High School in Gambrels, Maryland. And Ryan, maybe this is a little early to ask this, but what are your initial expectations uh, for your athletic teams, for your student athletes, your coaches, and your fans at Arundel High School? Well, um, I mean, I'm walking into a great situation. Our student athletes are competitive. Our families are intense. Um, I think all these things put together make Arundel a, a great place to be. I will say that I, it's like I said before, I, being the academic advisor I folk, and a core content teacher, mm -hmm. I focus very heavily on the student part of the student athlete. Um, it's a big love for me. I want to make sure that the students are prepared. Um, Coaching staff, we have an amazing coaching staff. Uh, we, we have had little to no turnover. In fact, we've only been able to add coaches. Uh, I'm, I'm walking into a great place. Uh, Arundel is, is going to endure some transition in the next two years. Um, and I will say this year has been a very big transition year. We've got a brand new gym floor. We've got, um, we've got a full school repaint. We've got a ton of stuff happening. So this is our transitional year. But one thing I will say for Arundel High School is that Arundel will be Arundel. It is always going to be Arundel. And our slogan this year is, if anyone's looking for us on social media, which I'm a big proponent of, um, look for us. And if it's a positive promotion, it's going to say hashtag forever Arundel. Wow. How about that? Um, short term goals for Arundel High School Athletics. I know probably more uh, county, region and state titles, maybe. Uh, and what else? Um, I mean, our coaches are focused. They're focused on the prize. Um, I trust in them and they're they're going to be great. Uh, what I can do from my end is the points of emphasis for Anne Arundel County Public Schools this year. Um, my biggest thing is going to be the student athlete and the student athlete experience. So I'm going to be positively promoting on social media. We just have a, uh, I just created a brand new Instagram account. So if you're willing to follow us, it's at Arundel Athletics okay. on Instagram. Um, we have our boosters who run our Twitter and our Facebook groups. Um, we have the best uh, athletic website in the state of Maryland. We are ranked number one in the state of Maryland. and. Uh, um, I think that has a lot to do with our community members. Uh, so check us out at, at arundelathletics.com. Um, but I'm going to be promoting the student athlete in a positive manner. And, and what can I do for that? Well, I can be doing that on social media, and I can also be improving our facilities. So we're in the process of converting one of our open gym classrooms into uh, a new space for our cheerleading program and our wrestling program in the winter. And it's, um, it's going to be a great thing. We, we have some, some work going on right now, and I, I think it's going to be an exciting place. Sounds like it's going to be an exciting place. And with an exciting athletic director, uh, Ryan, it sounds like you have your goals set. And it sounds like uh, social media is going to be a big part of Absolutely. that. And we already know the facility is great. Arundel High School has been around for a long time. And uh, you're a local guy. It uh, really sounds like this is going to be a perfect fit for the folks in Gambrels. And uh, I'm excited for you. Uh, we've known each other for a long time. And uh, I, I, again, congratulate you uh, on making what was a difficult decision to leaving your alma mater, obviously, but wow, what a step up for you. And, and to be very honest, for Anne Arundel County Public Schools and all of us, we're uh, honored to have you as the new athletic director at Arundel High School. Ryan, thank you, thank you so much for joining us here on The Score. Uh, again, folks, uh, we are so glad to have Ryan Woods. He is the new athletic director in Wildcat Country at Arundel High School in Gambrels, Maryland. Get down there, see him, and enjoy all of Arundel High School athletics this year. As always, in honor and memory of my mom, Dee Baker, I'm Wiley Baker. Thank you so much for watching The Score. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air. And with another edition of The Score right here on Anne Arundel County Public Schools Television and the YouTube channel.